So, there have been a lot of weird things happening to me lately, and I'm pretty sure my house is haunted. Since I've been living here, I've been hearing weird things in the middle of the night. I've been closing doors. I know that doesn't sound like much, but I've closed significantly more doors than I've opened. And that's kind of weird. You know, somebody has to be opening the doors and it's not me. I know that people are going to say that I'm crazy or that it's just my roommates and that this is all in my head, but I know that this ghost is real, and I'm gonna prove it. I believe in it. It has been in my family for generations. I pretty much grew up with it, and it's been present around me always. I can definitely relate to it, and I definitely feel empathy for the person, especially if they don't really know what's going on, and I feel like it's really, really important for them to get to the bottom of it and so they can move forward. I've seen a lot of people where they just, uh, you know, take it and it really hampers them in their life. I've never really experienced it. Uh, I understand that some people do struggle with it, but uh, it's not something that's ever been an issue for me in my life. I think the most important thing is to try to get out of it and not just accept that this is the way life is. So I just woke up. I'm getting ready for class. All my roommates are gone already. I'm the only one here. I just heard this weird noise from the end of the hallway. Uh, I don't I don't know what it was, but it sounded kind of like a door opening. Um, I'm gonna go check it out because I want to get some proof. So here we go. Okay, there's no one there. Okay, I was the last one in here and I definitely did not leave this open. This is so weird. This is the kind of thing I was talking about though that happens to me all the time and nobody else. What's it's hard to get across is that you really can't control when it's going on. So yeah, it, it can tend to overtake things and the person who's suffering from it is sometimes aware that it's ruining their time but can't help it. And that's some of the hardest times. I try to find a way to deal with it, whether that's getting outside and getting some exercise, whether that's trying to find something else to do to take my mind off of it, but I want to make sure that I'm doing whatever I can to avoid having it become an issue for me. So, I haven't seen or heard anything really in the past couple days, but earlier today I started feeling this weird pressure in my chest just out of nowhere. It's like someone reached into my chest and is just squeezing and it's it's not going away. I'm sure that it has to do with the other ghost stuff that's been happening. There's I don't have another explanation for it. I've never had anything like this happen to me before. I tried I tried talking to my roommates about it. None of them have any idea what I'm talking about. They've never experienced anything like this. They don't they don't get it. I think it needs to be accepted that it's an issue and not just swept under the rug and saying, oh, well, I can deal with this later or um, turning into something that isn't the reality that it is. I think different things work for different people. I think taking care of oneself, especially during those bad times, helps. I think medication can help sometimes. It really depends on the individual. But I think the most important thing is that people seek help and get the exact help they need to deal with it. And I agree. I think people should try to seek help if they're struggling with it and 
for those who aren't struggling with it, but live with those who struggle with it, then they need to be supportive. They need to try and help them. And uh, they need to do whatever they can to help them get through it. Okay, so I was just sitting on my bed doing homework and I swear that I saw my door open by itself. So, of course, this is, as soon as I got the camera out, it stopped, but I'm ready now. And if it does it again, I will have real proof. So, I guess we'll see what happens. There, I just saw it again. Or I, I thought I did. So I wanted to talk a little bit about the stuff that I've shown. I shot all of that when the ghost problem was really bad. And of course, it changes day to day. Some days are better than others. You know, it comes and it goes. But that was probably the worst that it ever was. The more I talk about it, the more I realize that I can't handle this on my own. I think I thought that if I could just prove that it was real, then it would stop. But that's not how it works. When I shot that other stuff, it was really bad. I was not in a good place. I wasn't really sleeping. I hardly ever left my room, which is why everything I shot was in here. I just felt so drained by this presence in my house, but since then I've sort of learned how to ignore the ghost and start taking care of myself again. I've accepted that this ghost is something that I'm going to have to live with because it's not going away. I don't think it ever will, but it's a lot quieter now. <laughs> 